Today's collectible spot, we're having a look at the Friday 13th Part 5, A New Beginning, Roy Mask, from the folks over at Fiberglass Masks. This beautiful and, I might add, also screen-accurate mask comes to us from www.fiberglassmasks.com. I'm going to provide the link down below if you guys want to head over to their website and check out the incredible pieces that they have produced. Um, I'm probably going to be going back and picking up mo probably more than what you the one mask here. I'm probably going to be going back and picking up several masks because the one thing I really like about their website is that they're giving you screen-accurate screen accurate masks um, from basically every movie property of Jason Voorhees. So we'll have Jason Voorhees from part three all the way really to the reboot Jason. Uh, but the thing I really like also about their website is that I got the Roy mask because I've always really wanted to get a Roy mask. It's so very different from the other hockey masks that we've gotten from the franchise. Uh, you know, really, with the markings themselves on the masks, it's something that we only saw in in Part 5. And, of course, fittingly enough, the non-Jason uh, movie, uh, it was just such a great mask that I wanted to pick up. Now, I went over to Fiberglass Masks because I wanted to get a high-end mask. And one thing I like about their site is that they feature variations of each of the masks. So for example, part four, they'll have a non-bloodied version of the part four mask, but then they'll also have the part four with the blood down the side. They'll have the part eight mask, but then they'll have the part eight mask with like the, the slime and, and the wetness to it. Um, and also too with the, the part five mask, I think there were two variations to that mask available as well. Uh, I ultimately just went with the, what I perceive to be the more screen run movie uh, mask but they did also have I think like a more of a weathered mask there also um, it's made of a very high durable fiberglass and on the inside actually they have a little markings indicating fiberglassmasks.com now also because if you are a fan of the the Friday 13th movies you know also that uh, unlike the strapped masks part 5 actually had more of an elastic mask which they've also uh, replicated here in their mask too the level of detail, level of paint is quite remarkable on these pieces. It does feel like a very thick, durable mask too. It doesn't feel very thin, and it does feel very, very dur durable. The tape uh, for the markings on the front of the mask has been applied, but it's also been applied where there's like little tears and rips and stuff like that, where it looks like it's something, again, taken from the movie. Also, it's not one singular color for the mask either. It's not just one base coat of the, the beige. They've overlaid different washes and different darker uh, paint schemes, paint uh, layers to it, to give it that look that it's an actual aged piece. Or something that you would see also in the movie. Because, I mean, even in the movie too, it wouldn't be a mask that would be just one singular color. They would put a couple of different washes on it. Uh, it could theoretically also be a, a, a wearable mask, as this is a one-to-one -one scale mask, uh, as seen in the movie. Um, I would say, though, if you guys do get the opportunity, and Spock probably will eventually put this on and uh, maybe scare somebody in my household. But uh, I definitely would say, though, if you get a chance, head over to fiberglassmasks.com, check out the pieces. Um, shipping time is usually when, it, well, when I ordered this mask, it took me about a week or so to get the mask arriving. Um, it's actually pretty good, and I think sh shipping was, I didn't pay anything for the shipping. Uh, masks range anywhere from, I think, about 150 to about 180 or so, uh, along in between those two price points. Uh, so the, it is a higher-end mask, but the, the trade-off, though, is, as far as I'm concerned, one of the most screen-accurate masks that I've seen while surfing the web. Uh, Spots always wanted to get his hands on really screen accurate uh, represent representations of the original Friday 13th masks, and I can't find one that's more accurate to the masks than the ones uh, that I got over at Fiberglass. Uh, I definitely will be wanting to pick up more than just the part five. I'd like to really get, ideally, I'd really like to get like all the masks represented from the movies. Uh, more importantly, like a, a probably just a regular part three probably a non-bloodied version of part four, and uh, definitely would like to get my hands on a part eight. 
Um, again, I'll provide all that link down below if you guys are interested in checking out. I know a lot of people are asking, you know, you know, where where can I get accurate versions of puzzle boxes? Where can I get accurate versions of uh, of Freddy gloves? And where can I get accurate versions of the Jason masks as well? And hopefully through these reviews, you guys can get some ideas out there. Uh, great gifts, obviously, for the people that are Jason fans out there, or really just gifts for yourself. Eventually, Spot would like to maybe have these all over his, uh, you know, his wall in his man cave. It will happen. Eventually, it will happen. Uh, today's collectible spot, though, a be absolutely beautiful piece. Uh, probably one of my new favorite pieces for my display. Today we're having a look at the Friday the 13th, Part 5, A New Beginning, the Roy Mask, from the folks over at fiberglassmasks.com. Stay tuned, guys. Spot's going to have more videos heading your way. Certainly thanks for watching, as you always do. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Ch -ch -ch.